Uh, the Xbox Series X specs news update. Gah. <sighs> the Xbox Series X is, uh, they, they, uh, it, it's coming. It's coming, folks. <laughs> you want it? It's coming. You, you can want buy it. it. You're going to get it. You'll buy, today. yeah, you'll buy it on Friday. I'm loving it. Uh, on Friday, this fall. You'll buy it in the Are fall. You okay? Do you want The hardware will boast 12 T flops of GPU power. Teraflops. Uh, based on an AMD Zen 2 and RDNA 2 architecture, uh, it will have SSD storage, 120 FPS support, uh, hardware-based DirectX ray tracing. All of this means nothing to me because I'm an idiot when it comes to technology. <laughs> However, what I can talk about are the quick resume features and okay. Microsoft's new smart delivery. Smart Th that, delivery. That, that was the biggest take. That you, you can explain delivery. what Ian, Ian. What is what is the what is the smart delivery? Well, quick resume is something that I would like to touch on because I find that to be nice. It's a nice thing. Um, quick resume. So basically, most systems now you can sleep your system. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, turn it back on, and it'll be where you left off. Um, some systems like the PlayStation 4, and I know uh, the Xbox One does this to a certain degree. I just, I'm not super familiar with it because I didn't own an Xbox this generation. Um, you can like, uh, you can fire up Netflix while a game is also running. So you can't, you don't have to shut the game down all the way. So if you're in the middle of say an RPG, you can back out to the menu, okay. load up Netflix, watch a movie, back out and then go back to what you were doing. So what this is going to do is this is going to have the ability to have multiple games running in the background, essentially like uh, like like apps on a phone and you can resu resume multiple games. Huh. So that's actually fairly interesting. Um, I don't know that I play enough that I would ever make use of it, but there have been That's, a few times where I, I feel like that 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 would be nice. Um, that way, you times. Don't... to me, it sounds like almost when you, you when you have your your Chrome browser open and you end up with thirty tabs that you never go back. Well, to and almost. that yeah, that's exactly essentially <laughs> what this will be. It'll, it'll be tabs for your games, and um, you know, it, sometimes it's nice to be able to just switch between what you're doing without having to go through the intro and all that stuff over again. Um, they're also doing smart delivery. Smart delivery reads like it's going to be there, uh, like some version of, of cross uh, cross buy, cross play, um, which Sony did uh, between the PS3, the Vita, the PS4. Certain games supported it. Basically, if you buy a game um, that features the smart delivery, you'll be able to play it on uh, whatever hardware is best suited to play it. So uh, if you buy a game for the Xbox One, um, and then later on they do a version for the Xbox Series X, I got that right, um, you'll be able to play it on that. So basically... And it's announced it for Halo Infinite. Um, a new smart delivery feature is essentially cross-buy, letting you purchase a... This is from the GameSpot article. Essentially letting you purchase a game once and play it on whatever is the best hardware. Microsoft says that developers and publishers will be able to choose to use that feature on games that release first on Xbox One and then later come to Xbox yeah. Series X. So some third party company, uh, third party companies, um, I can't remember exactly what ones. I think like Call of Duty though did Ghosts uh, did something similar on the of their own uh, between generations last time. Where if you bought a game for like say the Xbox 360, you could upgrade and buy an Xbox One copy of it for very cheaply. Um, so it seems like basically this is just going to become a feature that they're going to try to put into uh, many games. Um, and then Microsoft uh, continued to... What? <laughs> this is, but this is great news because, you know, this this might nudge people that will say, okay, I can just play Halo on my Xbox One, but it might look a lot better once I get that Series X. So it's a good marketing ploy to do that as well, knowing that they don't have to buy it a second time, a different version. Yes, I, I do appreciate the concessions that are being shown to between generations. Because uh, to, to me, this to, is just... To people who play games between generations. Because, yes, a lot of times you might not want... You may be getting that Xbox... You may be looking to get that Xbox Series X maybe six months after launch, but you want to play Halo right away. Again, to me, you're gonna is... get this, the the system anyways. That way, you can at least play the game on it when 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 you get the the more powerful system. That way, you can buy something like Halo Infinite when it launches. But if you're not getting that the Xbox well, a Series X until Christmas, you you don't have to buy a second copy. Well, let's stop. This is the same thing as computer software. 
yeah. how it was. Like, I can, I don't need a new computer to play whatever. My Warcraft 2 ties of darters. But if I get a, a beefed up computer, maybe it'll, the, the frame rate will be better. Or maybe the graphics card will make it look, you know, that's a bad example. I'm more like a first person shooter where it's like, okay, I can play it on the uh, medium, but if I buy the, the new com, uh, GPU, uh, I can, you know, do it on high res. That's exactly what this is. Yeah, you're, you're buying the game once and just reinstalling it on your upgraded hardware and reaping the benefits. Yes. So it's nice to see consoles doing this. I still think the overall issue Microsoft is going to face this, uh, this season is the lack of... Um, oh, Ferguson, think it. Think the word, exclusives. Yes, that's the word. That was the word. <laughs> Bird is the word. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, that's going to hurt them. But uh, yes, they are. This this is at least, I, I feel like this is, you know, a, a friendly thing to do. Let's go back to two things real quick. Well, you, you brought up the ray tracing. I did. Um, support 8K gaming and frame, frame, frame rates up to 120 FPS in games. Remember, folks, unless you have the monitor TV that could sustain or support those resolutions and frame rates, there's a lot of TVs that do 120. There's even ones that do 240, but anything above 120, most humans can't tell the difference at that point. Very few can. Don't, I'm going to tell you right now, don't go out and buy an 8K TV. 4K will be fine. 4K will be fine. Don't, don't go out and buy a, a brand new TV every three years uh, to support 8K gaming. 4K is fine. I'm finally thinking about getting a 4K TV. You're, you're okay with, and you have a big, uh, big screen. I like that TV. So like, uh, 8K is a scam. Like, like enough. They're gonna go 16K afterwards, so that if it blows up to a thousand feet in front of my eye, I can see the difference. Because that's what you're looking at. Once you go from 4K, remember, 4K's resolution is uh, like four times 1080p, right? Yeah, because it's 1080 to 4K. So. 8K's double that, so that would be, let's see, double pat math. What is that? What, double what? pat math. Double the pat math of four and then double. Eight times of, of 1080p. Eight times the resolution of your, most people that still have a 1080p. Did you really today. just say 4K is four times 1080p and then struggle for a second yes, over whether or not 8K would be eight times 480, 1080p? I, I, I struggled. I struggled. I'm just to let you know that they're going to be pushing 8K when 4K is more than enough, I don't even have a 4K TV yet, and watching movies is fine on a 1080p. I'm not old man Pat saying that. Like 1080p is fine for a lot of people. Uh, if you want to say, okay, we'll get, go 120, uh, 120 uh, refresh rate, 120 frames, cool. Get the 4K TV for 500 bucks. Don't spend three grand on the 8K TV. Whatever the frick they cost out there. It's, it's that's that's not. But at this point, though, that's all they have left. They can't say, oh, 4K, because the last console was 4K. They got to say 8K. I get it. I get it. Why am I getting so angry about this? I don't know. I have no idea. There's like no one that owns an 8K TV out there, but I'm getting, I mean, that's why I'm getting angry about it. Someone is listening to this right now and they're like, they're fucking fired up. They want to hit you. They're like, oh, I. Oh, I got I that am... 8K TV on the way from Best Buy, buddy. Yeah. I'm going to be enjoying Halo Infinite in 8K whenever that version of the game comes out. Let me just tell, say this about Teraflops. Mm hmm. I understand we have to, you know, have have some sort of dumbed down way to to translate computing power, and like you know how many how many instructions the console slash computer can do. I I think it's so weird that though, I don't remember a past console where there was an easy way to say, well, this console does the, this many teraflops or or a, a humdinger of of a, of a way like it, that never happened. That the best we got before was like blast processing on the Genesis. You know, like this sort of say, well, we can do something with inside our computer or console that the other competitor can't. Unless the teraflops are actually utilized by the games, it, it doesn't really matter how powerful your system is. If the games don't utilize it to its full potential, it's marketing speak. Sure. I'm just saying that because the PS, they're gonna, you're going to have everyone say, well, the Xbox Series X does 12 teraflops. The PS5 is only going to do 10 or whatever, only 11. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to see that when, for most of the time, it's not going to matter at all. Right. Does that make sense? Am I getting that across? I think so. I think you're getting it across. The teraflops? I think of a dinosaur that just likes to just flop on the ground. <laughs> I'm just thinking, of, I'm, I'm done for the day. Anyway. I don't know why I got so fired up about 8K. I don't, I don't know why I did. I, I, I just see them trying to push TVs that people don't need when 4K is more than sufficient. 
for for your needs. There. I mean, the world is all about pushing things we don't. Well, need. yeah, that's, they that's try to the push world. the 3D TVs ten years ago, and like thirteen people bought it, and it died out. You know, so but four there's a, yeah four K is a thing, eight K uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's that's what's going on here. Uh, anything else to add here? Nah. Are you, are you, are you, are you, just look, look, let's. Oh, we talked about we we, we didn't uh, speak about backwards compatibility that much. They didn't reveal it on here though. But there is going to be some backwards compatibility, correct? Yeah. On this. Yeah. Of course. Be, they already it, said that. They did. They said that ages ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it'll be like for games they want, not everything across the board. No. Right? No. No. What, no. No. That I'm right. Or no. no I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, what the fuck's going on no. right now on this topic? I don't know. We're moving on. It's we're moving to, on. Time to retire after the 200th, I guess. Moving on. 